Hello everybody, my name is Oshun, Oshun the Great, and welcome to my beautiful channel and welcome to sunny LA weather. <laughs> Today with me I have my wonderful friend Christian and he's basically going to help you guys understand how you can basically start defeating negative thoughts. So what do you have to tell my friends today? <laughs> okay, so I'd like to start by saying that you're not the only person who has negative thoughts. Everyone throughout their life has negative thoughts. And a lot of the times, those thoughts are not based in reality. You have irrational negative thoughts about what's going on in your life. You have to recognize them for what they are, pick them out, look at them, realize that they are rational, and explain to yourself why they are rational, and then let them go and move on. For sure. So how is it a way that they can actually understand that a thought pattern is irrational in the first place? Like what is an irrational thought pattern, for example? Okay, so anything that really makes you feel bad, anything that you think to yourself is self-defeating, mm -hmm. anything, any, anything that really disrupts your day. Okay. Like if you're going through your life and all of a sudden you have a thought and it completely throws everything off, mm -hmm. that is a negative thought and it is probably irrational. Okay, irrational. But I remember like when we were in the car the other day, you broke you broke it down to me like an irrational thought, for example, the thought I'm a bad person. How is that mm -hmm. irrational? Like what like you're saying that I don't have any real basis on how I can like say I'm a bad person or like what do you mean? Um what I mean is by thinking that you're a bad person you're just taking tidbits of your life and focusing on that okay. like maybe something bad happened to you that day and the way you acted makes you think that you're a bad person you have to look at that and you have to look at different aspects of your life okay. focus on what's going on now in your life say you know i mean maybe i did this stupid thing but does that make me a bad person i i'm doing really well in my life and other aspects my family is doing really well, or where I'm going is where I'm supposed to be. I'm in the right moment. Exactly. So you're saying it's pretty irrational to just blow up one aspect of your life when really we're much more than just this mistake we made, or mm -hmm. you know, there's so many multi, like we're multifaceted beings. We can't just blow up these negative instances and be like, oh, I'm a bad person. That's pretty much irrational. I see where yes. you're coming from. You, you can't let that consume you or and define you, yeah. define you and mess up the rest of your life mm -hmm. because by focusing on that you're not here in the present Very you're true. not focusing on the things that you should be focusing on yeah. you're not feeling the positive energy that's around you For sure. you have to go out and you have to find these places that that just make you happy you have to soak make you that feel up alive. make yeah. you feel alive <laughs> and the places that don't make you feel good the places with bad and negative energy you need to get out of them and find somewhere yeah. else okay so like what's an example of like i know for me for example whenever i have a ne negative thought i like to uh basically become like we talked about become aware of it mm -hmm. and then kind of train myself to think positively like if for example, I feel ugly one day, half the time it's basically based in, like, it's no real basis, there's no real facts about, like, like why I should feel ugly, mm -hmm. other than maybe I'm comparing myself or coming from this false belief, the belief system or something, but when you have that thought, basically I like to stop it in its tracks and be like, no, you know, and pick something else to fill that blank in, so maybe exactly. I'm, I'm damn good or I, I look, I'm fine as I am. So really, that's a practice too. You can just stop negative thinking in its tracks and fill in the blank with something positive. But really, that takes self-awareness. So in a in a way, you can do that by meditation, becoming self-aware of your thoughts, or like journaling. You really have to practice being mindful, basically, and like know yourself. <laughs> yes, you most definitely have to know yourself. Mm -hmm. And in this, in the example of feeling ugly in that day, mm -hmm. you can combine those techniques too. You take it and you look at it and you think, well, I feel ugly today. Well, is it because of something that's happening? If you're comparing yourself to other people in the media, the media is not the way that reality is. That's no false one, in itself. <laughs> yeah. No one looks that way. Yeah. And a, and a lot of times we have to give ourselves more credit. Um, give credit, give more credit than we, uh, we don't give ourselves enough credit because 
like he said, if we're trying, half, like that deserves enough credit there. And half the time we don't understand that outside sources are affecting us on a daily basis. So it's not mm -hmm. all you or your fault that we have these negative thoughts. And it's a, <laughs> it's a lot easier to focus on the negative things in your life and let the positive things that you're doing pass by. Yes. It happens a lot. People will do it to you, you do it to yourself. You think, mm -hmm. well, I'm doing all this amazing things, and you don't remember that. The one time you mess up is what you remember. And you For have sure. to stop yourself. You have to train yourself uh -huh. out of that. So yeah, I think um, a lot of times when we do mess up, I feel like in society we're trained not to mess up or we have this ideal of perfection. So that's why we trip up a lot and we have depression or we get in this loop of like feeling bad about ourselves or negative and we think, oh, I'm not good enough or oh, I'm not this or that. But like we, we have to understand that perfection doesn't really exist, that existing is good enough in itself. <laughs> yeah, ex no one is perfect we're all human mm -hmm. we all have things that we mess up on yeah you cannot and be perfect really something is like smashing negative thoughts it takes practice too so let's say you do become mindful of your negative thinking patterns and you put into play like what we're telling you like okay you stop it in its tracks you replace it with something positive or you realize that it's irrational mm -hmm. then like you can you can if you can start practicing it. it's not maybe not going to happen overnight but the more you become mindful and the more you start thinking positive or understanding the ir irrational, irrational um, thought patterns, then, you know, you and understand that you're trying, that's good enough. <laughs> you, you train yourself yeah, to recognize that. Yeah, you train that yourself. To the point where it's not so difficult anymore and it starts mm -hmm. to become automatic. And it's a lot like in my previous videos, I touched on acting as if with self-love. And basically, it has a lot to do with law of attraction. Like... You can literally, it's kind of like the fake it till you make it thing. Exactly. <laughs> so it's kind of like, um, act as if you already uh, mastered uh, overcoming negative thinking. And you, believe it or not, if you continue to do that on a daily basis, then you'll, you'll be surprised at how much your life turns, turns around. But yeah. So anything else you want to leave them with or like? <laughs> Just focus on the here and now. That's the best thing you can possibly That's do. That's true too, because I feel like, all our problems a lot of times are caused by not being present mm -hmm. yeah and it really that's mindfulness is just bringing your attention back to the present bring it back when it's to the floating present. everywhere else you can't you can't control what's going to happen in the future Very sometimes true. stuff just happens and you cannot control what has happened in the past the Very past true. is the past and focusing on what could have or should have been yeah. is not a healthy way to exist you have to be here in the now yeah and part of like forget not being so much in the past is like Practice forgiveness, compassion mm -hmm. for yourself, forgiving others, letting go is a good practice. Oh, All no. of this non-attachment to the future and the past, just be and have more fun. I don't feel like life should be as serious as we make it all the time. As, as this society makes us feel like we should just be so morbid or serious or have everything together. Work all the time, never yeah, take a vacation. Never take a break or just Don't be. take a break. Like, believe it or not, you're perfect as you are. And, like, you can be sometimes. Just be and relax and breathe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're good enough. Like, you don't have to always have this status or this bomb car, bomb girlfriend and boyfriend. <laughs> all these things. But, it, yeah. It, it, is not, <laughs> it is not a weakness to take a break every once in a while and just mm -hmm. let it all go. But definitely. But that is our little <laughs> spiel on how to like smash negative thoughts and just just yeah be dope be you unapologetically 